All right. Um, let's, uh, I'll probably wait for more people to join. And we'll see how things go. Um, adding the ADB cable at this point. And as you can see, I have uh, moved to Android, uh, back on Android Wear. It's not actually Wear OS, it's just the uh, 2.0 Android Watch OS. Is that what they called it? Anyways, I'm uh, going to give you a rundown of my experience with using the Asteroid OS for about a week. And uh, it should be interesting. So we are on Android Way, um, uh, OS and let's actually switch back to Asteroid. And as you may know that I do have Asteroid on a live boat. So all I have to do is sudo adb devices and see if my watch shows up um hmm. yes it does and then sudo adb reboot fast boot i think this was the one or the bar boot order And that rebooted. Let's wait for a few seconds, and that's in fast boot mode. As you can see right there, fast boot. Good. Now, uh, let's go and kind of, well, technically flash um, Asteroid OS. So that would be this folder then watch asteroid um and i'm streaming directly from my phone so you can't see the screen of course and then sudo fast boot boot and the fast boot image cool and in a few seconds we should have fast boot working which would be nice or actually asteroid is working there we go there we go uh that's where i left it previously all right so the basic rundown is i am for the most part in love with asteroid os i really like it it's super smooth especially when you compare to the current state of uh, android os on my watch which is super laggy um the animations are just amazing there are some really great uh, watch faces like this particular one so now that i've sort of rebooted to um the asteroid os i'll probably stick to it for another week and the reason I stuck with it for a week is because the battery lasted that long. Um, of course, it has to do with the fact that my Bluetooth or Wi-Fi isn't working. But even with those two things working, I'd say it'll last at least three days, which is like a, like a big improvement. Uh, because technically Android uh, Wear OS or Android Watch OS doesn't even last like that long. And it's it's pretty bad. So apart from that, the one complaint that I've heard a lot of uh, people talking about is the lack of a uh, Play Store or, or, or an App Store. So yes, that is something that the Astrodos really lacks, but it has most of the functionality built in like agenda or your calendars and you know, a basic calculator, some uh, alarm clock, your music player and everything else. And then it has push notifications. So the amount of things that I care about personally in an o in a watch are fulfilled. So, I mean, if the Bluetooth was working, if I was getting my, um, my notifications, I would have already switched to uh, Astro OS permanently. 
But sadly, that's not the case. I'm not getting my notifications and all of that stuff because again, Bluetooth and Wi Fi uh, works. Uh, I They say it works. I haven't seen it working. And um, uh, yeah, Bluetooth doesn't work. So the push notification stuff or, you know, uh, connect to your watch from your phone thing doesn't work. The second thing that truly bothers me is the lack of uh, of an always on display. So it's it's not always on. It turns off, and then you have to manually turn it back on. So I think that's one of the reasons the battery lasted that long. But I mean, still, uh, if it's an OLED screen, shouldn't worry that no matter that much, and you can. You can see the um, the IR light if you're watching in high def. The IR light from my phone's camera, which is pretty cool. Again, uh, that's off topic, but yeah, I mean, for the most part, I don't think uh, there should be. I, I have personally any issue with running um, AstroDOS regularly after this week of use. I love it, and. Um, yeah, just just if someone really got Bluetooth working for this particular watch, that would be God sent. Uh, yeah, apart from that, I mean, uh, yeah, but at, at, at shift, at shift, I have no issues with that. Um, so that's about it. That's pretty much it. It's not a very long live stream. Um, just just the basic rundown um, of the watch OS and my experience so far. Uh, yeah, this is like my favorite watch face period. All right, so I mean, if you guys have any questions, uh, leave it in the chat. I'll just stick for another minute and then we can call it a day. I do have some more interesting live streams coming along probably in a day or two. But uh, we'll see about that how they go. I mean there are a few kings here and there one other thing that i did notice was uh this battery bar at the bottom it doesn't really change according to the amount of battery there is it just if it's below 10 percent it'll go completely empty and if it's above 10 percent will remain full uh but then that's like uh, it's showing there so it's fine but i mean you when you glance at it quickly it just it just doesn't make any sense all right, so I'm not seeing any um, questions in the live chat. You can always hit me up if anything comes up. So that's probably about it. All right, one one question. Are there any plans to implement the pedometer? Depends on uh, if, if your watch has it. Uh, currently, I don't think the OS has that functionality built in or any fitness tracking functionality built in at the moment. Again, my watch I don't think my watch has it or it does not sure if it's a separate sensor but if they're using the uh, accelerometer bus uh, geo sensor combo to make a pedometer uh, then that's a different thing but yeah currently no no such functionality no such implementation again you can see there's no like fitness app or anything so that like that won't happen anytime soon I think the most requested feature at this point is the always on display, which I guess bugs a lot of people. All right, um, I, I guess keep the questions coming a few more minutes, I think. But to be honest, YouTube has, I mean, off topic, YouTube, ha YouTube has, I think, got their um, phone streaming thing straight. Uh, streams don't drop it's smooth. It happens really well. The last to last time I tried streaming with my phone, it was a nightmare.
I think there was this particular thing that crashed the uh, the live demo I was doing on QEMO and that was if you go into the settings and add a particular watch face which I think was either this one or it was this particular one it would just crash it straight up but uh, like in, in, in real uh, in, on real hardware just works fine so yes the QEMO implementation is also uh, not really like super works but um, it's, it's there the other thing is this OS doesn't really detect that it's kind of on a circular um, display and it cuts a whole lot of things off so you can see like for for the main ui and everything even for the watch face this is fine looks stylish with things like kind of cut off there i think but when it comes to uh, some applications like the calculator for example um then you are in trouble because you basically don't you have a really tiny equal to sign you are missing a whole digit so if i do a two can't see anything but i do another two then you can see barely something and then i have to do another two and that, that that's how it works but if you like slide it down and you can like just barely see that there are three twos there because i typed them in and because of the the, the way the screen is uh being cut why the us it doesn't really match up which is sad because something something like a calculator you know um that that matters for everything else i don't care that much because pretty much everything happens in the center all right i guess that's about it now i'm ending the live stream kind of tired uh hopefully see you all in the uh in tomorrow's live stream if i can make it hopefully i can who knows all right thank you all, all for watching and i'll see you all in the next one uh, all right bye